Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Let's start with creating a new composition. Name it as lower third. For this composition, I will set time duration to 6 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Now let's add the text. Here I will be adding my channel name. You can add your text here. Here I will be using cool Vetica font family, and font style decompressed heavy. Increase the font size. You can position the text wherever you want, or you can align it to the center. Here I will vertically scale this text, to 150%. Perfect. Now let's animate this text layer. In animate, select opacity, Set opacity to 0%. Now in range selector, at start, create keyframe for offset. Set it to minus 100%. Go at 2 seconds, change it to 100%. In advanced, change shape to ramp up. Set easy high to minus 50%. Set easy low to 50%. You can see the preview. Now let's add, property, position. Set position value for x axis to, 150. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. For this text layer, you can add the fill effect, to set the color of your choice for this text layer. Here I will keep it to white. Now select the rectangle tool. Create the shape exactly as shown. Make sure the fill option is set to solid color, and stroke option is set to none. Add fill to the shape layer. Set the color of your choice for this shape layer. Now while pressing Y key on your keyboard, select this anchor point for the shape layer. Position it as shown. Now at near about 1 second and 15 frames. For shape layer, create keyframe for scale. Unlink the scale. Now at start of the timeline, change scale position for X axis to 0%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Place this shape layer below the text layer. Now let's create duplicate of this shape layer. For shape layer 2. We will remove these created scale keyframes. Now for this shape layer 2. Let's add, trim path. In trim path, at near about 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for end. At start of the timeline, change end to, 0%. You can see, for this shape layer 2. Change fill option to, none. Set stroke option to, solid color. Here we will set stroke width to, 3. If you want, you can also preview this solo layer, by just clicking here. Let's set the offset value.
you can see the preview. Slightly adjust the position of this shape layer. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as layer 1. Add fill to this solid layer. Set color to white. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. For this duplicate layer. In effects and preset, search for drop shadow. Add it to the solid layer. Now adjust the position for the solid layer as shown. For drop shadow, set direction to 180. Set softness to 50. Select both the solid layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as shape layer. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of our main text layer, place it above the shape layer. Now for shape layer, change track mat to, alpha mat, text layer. Now here, you need to adjust the position for this shape composition. Press P to bring up position. Adjust the position in such a way that the shadow part is aligned with the background shape layer. Perfect. Now for this below text layer. Let's swap the fill and stroke. Now here set the stroke to 3. Now we will adjust the position for this layer. For shape layer 2, place it at distance of 10 frames. For outline text layer, place it at 10 frames. Place the above main text at distance of 20 frames. You can see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our main text is ready. Now let's add the subtext. Add the text. For this subtext, swap fill and stroke, perfect. Change font style to regular. Let's reduce the font size. Change vertical scale to 100%. Change it to italic. Perfect, now let's animate this text layer. In animate, let's enable per character 3D. Now add, opacity, set opacity to 0%. In range selector, at start, create keyframe for offset. Set offset to, minus 100. Now go 2 seconds forward, change offset to, 100%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. In advanced, change shape to, ramp up. Change based on two words. Set easy high to minus 50%. Easy low to 50%. Now let's add property scale. Set scale to 0%. Now let's add property position. Set x axis position to 150. Set Y axis position to, minus 75. You can see the preview. Now place this text layer at 1 second as shown.
perfect. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as, main text. Now for this main text composition, go to time. Select enable time remapping. Now go at position where the text animation ends. At 2 seconds and 15 frames, I will create a time keyframe. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe. I will change the time duration to 2 seconds and 15 frames. This will create a hold position for this animation. Now for end keyframe. Change it to 0. This will create in and out effect for the lower third. Here our modern lower third is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.